Welcome back to the Pokemon Black 2 Nuzlocke. I am Mike. Last episode, we didn't really do, do that much. Um, so, real fast. I'm gonna break the seventh wall real fast. Uh, I'm recording this on July 20th. You guys will probably see it July 22nd. I already recorded an episode right before this, and I'm gonna try and get into the habit of uh, scheduled uploads more. Because... Uh, my friends have told me that they'll watch my videos, but when I start just, you know, uploading and pumping them out, uploading and pumping them out, uploading and pumping them out, then I upload them too fast and people don't get to necessarily enjoy them when they want to, so they they still fall off and don't watch them as much. And I want to avoid that from now on. I don't want you guys to start watching and then I and you come back one day and there's like seven episodes like, oh, fuck, now I gotta make all this time up. You know, so I'm gonna try and do, you know, scheduled uh, uploads from now on so the last episode I recorded for this which will be episode 23 I believe uh, again recorded today on the 20th going up tomorrow on the 21st so this episode 24 will go up on the tw uh, 22nd so anyway um, we got a route 14 encounter finished fighting the trainers over there went through the gate and uh, we're on route 13 now Just trying to make a push Just trying to make that push uh, and we're here with our TM81 Ancient Power. So, anybody learn it? That would be useful, maybe? We do have some bomb-ass TMs right now. Uh, defog. Break. Oh, wh when did I get... Yo. Shit. Anybody benefit from them? You can, but not really. I mean, that's cool. That's definitely cool. Uh, number. So. <sighs> Team hasn't really changed. Maybe everybody's gone up a level or two, but other than that. Um, right now, I'm kind of just, like I said, just fucking around. I don't know. There's anything. So I know I'm on a heavy ass route right now, and by that I mean, like, there's a lot of shit to do in this area. Um. God. Ugh. Give me this. Thought. Also think. <sighs> Hello again, Rike. I'm gone for so long. Not what it's like for her. Enjoy the rack. Nice. Hunting for treasure. Alright then. See you. No. No. I don't. I don't know where. But like, you can tell, like, the water splits up, and then there's bridges above. There's so much shit to do here. I don't know where to start, to be honest. Like,. I need to find a way to hit everything without missing anything. Oh, guy. Okay. I see you over there, buddy. I see you. I acknowledge you. But I'm going to go this way. Uh, am I still on Route 13? I got to check that. Ooh. Uh, town map. Yes, I am. Okay, so I can't get anything on this route then. 
other than whatever that inevitable encounter will be. Damn you. But, uh, what you got? Agonal, Jirachi, and Dusk Noir? Yo, these are getting pretty powerful. Then again, you know, fully evolved at, I think, level 40, so I won't be fighting any baby shit anymore. Oh, boy. What do I think you're gonna do? Who's, who's like, my front three visionary? I'm gonna click Secret Sword. Oh, you bitch. Wait a second. I don't know if this... I don't know how this is gonna work. Damn it. Oh my god. Please stay in. Damn it. Well, I mean, not staying, but stay in the spot. Bro. I am at a, a, this is not good right now. I need to think. I need to think. I just need to go hard into you, actually. You stand the best chance right now against all three of them. I'm gonna Night Slash. This should kill you. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Everybody getting some experience. I'm gonna Night Slash again. Ha! Fuck out of here. Oh my god, gross, you're just the best. And you're never dying. No, nobody's ever dying on this team again. This is my ride or die team, unless I get a better encounter. I mean, that Flygon does very nice. potential to have a Flygon. That was rough, dude. Thanks. Yes, I know. Wait, is this it? Please tell me this is it. Use no. No. God damn it, no. I'm trying to find the person who gives me the prism scale. Because I would really like to evolve my goddamn Feebas. Ah, speaking of which, hello, Hidden Grotto. Come on. Damn it. Fair enough. You guys yelling at me the first time. Hidden Grotto! I know, I saw it. I like how this plays into people's tendencies to turn down the middle of a bridge. Surf you real fast. I'm getting up there in levels. I am still somewhat above, but not by much. So this should be interesting. <sighs> oh no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Uh use my bulky. Okay. I have to go into you right now. Yeah, even that hurt. Oh! Yes! Yes, visionary! Yes! 
Bro. <sighs> Too many close calls, man. Seriously. This guy was like, Ugh. No, let's get it ready. Go back up. You know what? I'll put you out there right now. Bitch, move. What's this? Gee, it's almost like I just got one of those. Okay. Well, I have no reason to keep, um, actually run into counters, although I wish I had beef. Because God knows what items I could be finding off Mons right now. Let's see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to come over here. Slide up. Start slamming some of these. Put this back on. Now, I actually be easier for me to come down over here. And I guess I'll just go up this way. see anything else to do oh so we selling some money dragon scale nice Gotta go down the stairs can't though Fine. If that's the way you want it. That's the way I'm gonna play it. Let's go. What you got? Oh. Okay. And you don't even get your hidden ability. But you got rid of mine. Alright, I guess let's try and start throwing balls. I don't know. It's one. I say, I swear, if I saw it go up, I'd start freaking. Like, there's two? <laughs> Please, no! No, oh, that's two. Smug fucker. Real smug motherfucker. Alright. We are here. We're pulled up in Lacanosa town. Damn it. Hi there, snack. Hee <laughs> <laughs> hee, we've got you now, bitch. I used to fly, so it looks like I beat you here. Thanks for your help in Reversal Mountain. If you go straight, which I'm not, past Lacrosa Town, you'll reach up Lucid City. But before you go, there's something I want you two to hear. Ah! 
what is it? You'll know soon enough. Hurry now. I was trying to heal you, bitch. You must be the one who wanted to hear that old tale about Lacunosa Town. Oh, that's right. Please tell us. All right, my dearies, please come in. I don't like her old lady. I just want to change it up a little bit. Why Lacunosa Town? There's my big hole. You heard of the giant chasm? Oh, I've heard that around the giant chasm, there have been brief temperature readings of negative 58 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what Charon told me anyway. The road is blocked, so we can't get there right now. A long, long time ago, when the giant chasm was created, a big meteorite fell from the sky. A really scary Pokemon was hidden inside that meteorite. A meteorite. When darkness falls over the land, this Pokemon appears. A frigid wind follows it. It freezes everything around it. It needs people and Pokemon. That's why everyone was afraid. The, the, the Pokemon... It, people? So our ancestors surrounded the town with walls to prevent the Pokemon from getting us inside the town. Also, a rule is made forbidding anyone to go outside after dark. That's the end of the old tale. What a fascinating story. I'll add to my research records. Everyone, we should be going. It's a fucking flood in my panties. Wasn't that an interesting fuck tale? The Pokemon's tragedy may be unknown. The power mentioned in the story is incredible. I know. The power to freeze everything around it could even rival the power of the legendary Dragon-type Pokémon. Oh yes, Bianca! Almost like Zekrom, who scorched Unova with intense lightning long ago. Oh, by the way, Snack, do you remember the story of Zekrom? Oh, I told you a little about the land of his town, remember? Zekrom is a legendary Dragon-type Pokémon that lends its power to the person it recognizes as a hero pursuing ideals. It has a black body with cut to match and it can unleash fearsome lightning. Professor, do you think there's a connection between the Pokemon from the old story and the legendary dragon type Pokemon? <gasps> the meteorite. The meteorite? Sakram was revived from a rock. Called the Dark Stone. Let's suppose the meteorite from the story and the stone are one and the same. Take into account that elements from the same era were found in the Dragon Spile Tyro where Zekrom was, and in the giant chasm. It doesn't prove anything, but it could be a piece of the puzzle. Ah, oh, let's not write it off as a coincidence just yet. If your theories are true, it should really be a strong Pokemon. What kind of reason would there be for it to only come out at night? Like, if, like, if, like, if, like, it doesn't like sunlight or something like that. So we look into it more deeply and firmly. It would be hard to say anything about that. Now that I think about it, the name Lacunosa could be derived from Lacunosa's cloud. Which are clouds that resemble a net or a fence. Fun fact, all the towns in Gen 5 are named off clouds. I wonder if the name is related to the part of the story where they built walls to protect the town from that Pokemon. Oh, sorry. I rambled on a bit, didn't I? You caught me monologuing. Oh, snack. Could you ask Trayton about this if you get a chance? I'm gonna do a little field work. Bianca, help me out, okay? Sure thing. Oh, just so you know, Oplucid City's Mayor Drayden wrestles with his Pokemon to toughen them up. Professor Jennifer, wait up. Okay, useless information. Now I'm gonna go back here. <clears throat> I'm gonna heal. Yo, why does it still feel fast? It's 1.25. Technical, what do we got? 
We have Perish Song. That sucks. We have Hex. We have Fusion Flare. Dude, it's Fire Blast. Yo. Lex. Party. Damn it. Yo. Have some bomb ass fucking shit, dude. Who who be learning this fire blast? Motherfucker, you, yes, hell yes. Get rid of flamethrower, and I will teach you motherfucking fusion flare. I don't even care, dude. That's fucking bomb. Um. Yeah, it's fine. No. Oh my god. So, have you seen Team Plasma anywhere around here? I heard a rumor to that effect. Oh, for crying out loud! This is troublesome indeed! My curious trainers! Perhaps I should satiate your curiosity somewhat. The reason I'm still part of Team Plasma is this. I want to know how the world will change. Listen, Pokemon are nature. Pokeballs are civilization. Humans who are used to civilization don't relinquish it easily. Of course, both nature and civilization are important. But what will happen to a world taken over by Team Plasma? People will be forced to throw out Pokeballs, a product of civilization. I want to know what that looks like, and I want to enjoy it. Shut your mouth. All I want is to get back a stolen Pokemon. Snack. Give me a hand. You ready? Just to let you know. You're about to feel my rage! Alright, let's go. Bro. <sighs> Massive Technician Joe, Ninjask, and Golem. Alright. Alright, what the fuck is this, Jarrett? I can't stay in on this thing. I can't. Because it goes for that goddamned EQ. I will lose my Mon. My Fusion Flare Mon. Okay, that works too. I've got to get fast. Got to get faster, faster, Sonic. Oh, oh shit. I should do like half. No, it didn't. Why? Doesn't matter, we broke sturdy. Which I would have done anyway. Oh man, he got the rocks. Right, yep, die. <sighs> hmm. Oof, rip. That didn't kill you. Jarrett, what is with these trash mons, my dude? Don't. Okay, I'll say. If you attacked this fucking golem, I would have fucking flipped. I would have killed you. I would just straight up attacked you next. I'm fairly certain I'm done grinding. Maybe one or two more sessions tops, but it'll only be a couple levels. Like, I want to make sure I don't fall super behind. I want to try to do my best to make sure I'm on par with everybody. Because I think that can be some really interesting battles if I'm on par. But I mean, you gotta think, it's pretty hard when you take into account the, um, 
the 10% buff. So, it's only going to get harder, because, surprise, after this game, regardless of whether I win or lose, I'm starting Dryano Hex. And motherfucker, I got three of them ready. I'll do a straw poll when the time comes, so you guys can pick which one I get blown back in first. But... Kill you. Blunder. What's wrong with these two? I'm battling alongside Zinzolin. This shouldn't be happening. These trainers remind me of that one from two years ago. More important, we must continue our search. Like that scientist said, it might be an opposite city. We'll play with you again later. Get back here. Alright, whatever. What are you saying about this house? There's nothing in here, bro. You're just creeping. Whatever, we're gonna go heal. Maybe we have time to snag up one more encounter, hold on. Twelve. Look at this troll. Look at it. Can't even get back there. Dive ball. I'll, let me get my encounter real fast. A water stone. Oh, it's the Thunderbolt and the best shop. Yo. I have a chance. I'm gonna kill you. Over Ice Beam on you. Uh oh. That. What do you mean while being focused? That makes no sense. Literally. Whatever. Go Tyson. What about pursuit crit? Well then, fuck it. Pursuit crit. That did nothing. All right, it's time to start. No, it's not. It's time to get him a little weaker. No, it's not. I just realized I looked at the time. Let's go. Get in here, you bitch. One. Two. Three. Beautiful. Get in there. Sword blade. Um. I don't know. Go with Tracer. I don't know why I named it that. We'll restore. Pearl. Careful to avoid. Truck drive. Is that all of them now? I feel like that's all of them. But, uh. Oh my god! How did I dodge him fast enough? I don't know. But I'm gonna head back over here real fast. Can I check it out before the time's up? Get in there! Go, 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 go! Come on! Come on! Check it! Check it! It's quirky with Defiant. Alright, shit. That's all I got for today. 
Talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.